Okay, we are doing my quote and blog for today, which is going to be the 13th of March, 2022. Okay, my quote for today. Smile to give others hope and strength. Smile to show that we are on the same wavelength. Let that glimmer in your eyes show compassion when another sighs. In the kindness spontaneously given, we support the potential to be forgiven. Everyone has been hurt and wronged. Everyone has experienced pain prolonged by the choices of a very few who decided to do evil so they could accrue. But what is the cost of such ill-gotten gain? Was it really worth all the suffering and pain? I know that the karma that certain actions cost will teach a lesson that can never be lost. And my blog for today. I couldn't help but think about when I lived in Berlin during the Cold War with the wall up and it was the Cold War was still in full swing and I went to the East Block for the first time with my German friends who had family still in the East. We entered through the subway entrance which was underneath Checkpoint Charlie. That subway entrance was at Friedrichstrasse and it was the normal entrance for those who were usually German and local. And while there was a foreign or Ausländer line, there was also a line for the Germans that moved quickly, but my line moved much more slowly. As I went through the line, I found myself in a room with a two-way mirror, and they had taken my passport and work visa from me. Instantly, I realized that this was not the normal situation, and the East German secret police, the Staatssicherheitsdienst, or Stasi, were watching me. I tried to act normal. I had a book, so I was reading the book calmly, trying to not give anything away. What I did not want them to know was that in my very heavy winter coat, in the freezing cold Berlin winter, I had contraband. West German newspapers inside the lining. <sighs> Such a thing was clearly illegal, but that was how my friends got the information to their families in the East. I had the papers spread out inside the lining and was trying to not move too much in case they crackled. I sat there with them watching me for three, four hours. I was not sure how long it was that I, because I didn't have a watch on. Finally, they released me and when I got through, my friends were freaking out on the other side. Back then, the Stasi were very dangerous and people disappeared all the time, never to be seen again. My friends were about to go back through and try to get help from the West German police when finally I got out. They were relieved, I was relieved, and we quickly went to my friend's family's house, which was an apartment in the city. Once there, the father pushed back the heavy furniture quietly, pulled up the rug, and the wife went to the window to shake the rug out to distract anyone from the noise, That he, and he took the floorboards out, and inside he placed the newspapers with all the other newspapers he had hoarded there. He joked and laughed as he did it, saying that the papers worked so well for insulation in the winter and kept noises out also. Such was the life of those living in the east of Berlin. It was special just to get news from the outside. To them, it was a celebration and very exciting to find out what was happening in the real world. The world outside propaganda that they were given only and only allowed to listen and to listen to and believe. That is why controlling the media is so powerful and a free press is so critical and at risk in our country right now. And there are so many in our country right now that are using those same Stasi tactics to twist the minds of the weak in ways that make them dangerous to our own democracy and country. Truthfulness in the media and advertising should be a requirement and a law. It should be attempted at least, but I know it's not that simple. That's why each of us are responsible to what we allow into our psyche. I use Katie Byron's four questions plus another one. The first question that she uses is, is it true? Number two, can you absolutely know it's true? Number three, how do you know? How do you react? What happens when you believe that thought? Number four, who would you be without that thought? And I ask a fifth question, who benefits from me believing that thought? 
In living in Berlin, I learned quickly how different all the various forms of news were. I could see when I was 17 years old the massive difference between the US news, the BBC, and the German news. Each one slanted a certain way. Amazingly, the German news was the most honest. The US news at that time really tried to not tell the whole story. I believe it is why we have so many idiots and brainwashed individuals now in our country that blindly believe the crock of shit someone is shoveling. Even now, I look at all the other news groups to get better informed. But truth is a very difficult thing to find in our current environment of misinformation. Always look to who profits from the distortion of truth. Always know that discovering the whole truth is not anything certain groups want you to know or question. Question everything and check references. People make up titles all the time and believe them because they are on a web page that the deceiver created to validate their lie. Thanks everyone.